<clears throat> Alright, hello guys, uh, it's DJ here. Uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this uh, Microsoft Frosted Glass kind of style in Blender using just Cycles rendering engine. Alright, let's get started. So, um, as you can see, this is mostly just cubes and very primitive shapes. So I'm not going to show you how I modeled these uh, cubes or bevels. Uh, if you're interested, I might be showing it in future videos. But in today's video, I'm just going to be showing how I made the glass shaders. It's going to be very quick. Alright, let's get started. Uh, so let's pick an example. Um, let's say this one. Uh, so you can see this is a very simple setup. Um, I'm just using a principal BSDF shader. Uh, it's have a base color and an emission. I'm going to talk about the emission later on. Uh, and then what I'm using to cr uh, create this color ramp is just a uh, color ramp that, that is ramping a gradient texture. And this gradient texture have this mapping and texture coordinate just to show this uh, kind of direction. And um, if you if I zoom in and just follow this part render, uh, you can see if I rotate this, uh, it's not showing sure anything, maybe the y-axis, yep, you can see now it's uh, going from up to bottom, and if I rotate the z-axis and then uh, put them back, uh, you can see it, it doesn't work really well. So. Uh, for this method, you kind of have to uh, try uh, the different rotation and different skill, and maybe you even want to try UV mapping it if you have a UV texture coordinate set up. But generally, I found that a uh, generated texture coordinate is good enough for me, so um, I just roll over with it. And uh, yeah, this is basically it. Uh, I can show you another example. Oh. Uh, by the way, this um, I set up emission for this is because you can see without emission, um, it might be pretty dark, and then you have to adjust the lighting uh, and all that. But if you just uh, connect this up to emission tab and then set the emission strength to um, pl play around with it, uh, and then you can see uh, it's gonna give you this very bright and uh, kind of saturated look. Uh, let's see this one, for example. I also got this uh, texture uh, or color ramp, and then uh, I connected, connected to the base color and also the emission. And note that I have transmission all the way up, but almost no roughness for uh, transmission. Because if you give it a kind of high value, it's, it tends to be pretty, uh, pretty dark. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's just going to look very dim and not very interesting at all. Or you can have this emission strength up a little bit. Oops, yes, a little bit too much. But I actually like it. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm just going to undo it to a point where... Okay. And then... Uh, for this glass, um, I actually don't have any any color ramp with it, because you can see it's uh, not really a very important glass. I have a lot of emission uh, going on with it, because I want it to be very, very bright. Uh, you can see without any emission, it's just going to be a pretty, pretty boring glass. You're probably not going to notice it anyway. Uh, but with some emission strength, like just a little bit, it's going to bright up and have, um, have the viewer's attention, basically. And so, yeah, this is it. Uh, this is pretty much it. And I can show you my lighting setup. It's also very simple. I have a world emission tab. It's just using an environment texture and also a background. And then just one point light uh, from the back. And my camera should be somewhere here. Uh, like you can see, um, if I toggle the light off. 
you can see uh, the uh, the the tubes that have self emission is still going to be very bright, but all these uh, tubes without a lot of emission, they're just going to look very very desaturated. Uh, they just don't look so good. So uh, you need some light outsource to do, to do that. And yeah, I think this is it. Uh, it's a pretty short tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna upload my uh, geometry and everything set up on my com road. You can download it there, and uh, if you like it, like and subscribe. If you want to uh, ask me more questions, just comment it, and I'll try to answer it. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, so w when you're doing glass, you probably want to take some uh, take some look at the IOR for this. Because, uh, uh, for example, with this magnifying glass, I wanted to have uh, some sort of distortion uh, to the corner. So I changed the IOR from the uh, default. I think it's I think it's 1.5 or 1.4 something. But it has a lot of distortion, and I don't really like that. So I'm just um, toggle it down a little bit, and you can see if I toggle it down to one. It's just gonna be very weird. It's kind of like I'm just looking through this glass. It has no uh, refraction whatsoever. And having it, uh, giving it a little bit of uh, more IOR, it's gonna, uh, well, it, it just look better, I think. And yeah, that is it. This is the whole thing. Thank you for watching, and peace.